Hello kids. Now let us learn about singular and plural nouns. Children always remember a naming word that is noun can refer to one or more than one person, place, animal or thing. So a noun that names one person that is a single person, one place, a single place, one animal, a single animal or one thing that is a single thing is called as singular noun. Single person, place, animal or thing is called as singular noun. Now in this picture you can see there is one boy. A boy, a classroom, only one classroom, a squirrel, one squirrel and a pencil, one pencil. Now children, let us see what are plural noun. A noun that names more than one person, place, animal or thing is called a plural noun that means you can count them they are more than one so children in the picture there are four boys so b o y s boys again there are three classrooms so we say them as classrooms my dear children, can you count the number of squirrels over here? Very good. Nine squirrels. They are more than one. So, squirrels. And last, pencil. How many pencils are there? Seven pencils. More than one. Therefore, pencils. So, children... Boys, classrooms, squirrels and pencils are all plural nouns. A singular noun changes into plural noun in many ways. But dear children, in this class you are going to learn very few rules about it. Our first rule is we add S to form the plural of most naming words which are singular. We add S in the end to make it into plural form. Here are few examples. A shoe, many shoes. A clock, many clocks. A ball, many balls. A spoon, Many spoons, a car, many cars, a cup, many cups. So children, shoe, clock, ball, spoon, car and cup. They are in singular form because they all are one in number. And when you add S in the end to these singular forms, they change into plural form. That is shoes, clocks, balls, spoons, cars and cups. Our next rule is if a noun ends in singular form in ch, ss, sh or x then we add es. In the end to change and make it into plural form. I repeat if a noun ends in ch, ss, sh or x we add es to its singular form in the end to change it into plural form. Children let us see examples one by one so that 
this rule becomes easier to understand. First, we will see the rule of CH. As we discussed the rule, words ending with CH, you should add ES in the end to make them plural. One peach, many peaches. One watch, many watches. Similarly, words ending in SS, one glass, G-L-A-S-S, -S, many glasses, G-L-A-S-S-E-S, -S, one dress, D-R-E-S-S, -S, many dresses, D-R-E-S-S-E-S. -S -S, Next example are of words ending in SH. One dish, D I S H. Many dishes, D I S H E S. One brush, B R U S H. Many brushes, B R U S H E S. Then comes words ending in X. Box, one box. B O X, many boxes. B O X E S, one fox. F O X, many foxes. F O X E S. The last rule is some nouns have the same form in singular and plural. One sheep, many sheep. One hair, many hair. Children, even in the plural form, the spelling does not change. One sheep, S-H-E-E-P, many sheep, S-H-E-E-P, one hair. H A I R many hair H A I R So children with little more practice you will understand these three rules very easily thank you